Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Hold on one moment. I'm going to move myself right over here. There you go. Okay, look. Wow. This is going to be a multiple video reaction video of Tom McDonald's spoken word. And holy crap, I mean, even though this short maybe to be a little bit long, maybe three minutes long, you know, but still just him speaking and just like on a microphone, standing there just speaking and what he has to say, basically, you know, just like freestyling and saying whatever he's mind and then he titled whatever he just freestyled, you know, this one, the first one is Anarchy. Um, the Basically, the playlist is, is kind of called Tom McDonald's Spoken Word. Um, and holy crap, what Tom has to say here is so beautiful. So this is my reaction video, Trippy Legit Gamer here. Welcome back. I love you all. Thank you for watching. This is my reaction video to all of those. His spoken words, uh, playlist kind of thing and all of that. And I'm going to react to it. So anyway, thank you for watching. I also do video game playthroughs and everything. I'm finishing up Tom McDonald very slow, um, as much as possible, you know, but I will continue doing his new music. Um, so thank you for watching. Smack that like button. Check out my other reaction videos. I also, um, my last video game footage walkthrough I did was Red Dead Redemption. So go check that out. The Triple Legit Gaming here. Uh, FYI, I'm autistic. And these are my reaction videos to Tom McDonald. Um, I also did some Nick Notoli videos. I did one of him. I did two songs in one video. It was, it was short, but oh my gosh, phenomenal. Go check him out. Um, thank you for telling me about him. Love him. Math respect to that guy. Anyway, let's get into it. So smack that like button, subscribe. Sh feel free to share my videos and sit back and enjoy and watch my reaction to Tom McDonald's spoken words. Holy crap. I got away from all the chains they tried to lock me up with. I wasn't made for nine to fives and working in construction. I never fit the system. My description is the suspect. I gave him all the finger, then I rode into the sunset. And I don't want to be promoted. I don't need to raise a buck. And I don't want the Christmas bonus or the new company truck. Keep that silly uniform I had to wash and dry. I'm not a brick that's in your wall, but you're a thorn that's in my side. I was born and I comply with all the orders and defy all of the horrors I survived. Oh, wow. Okay, wait. Did he put makeup on? Or wait, how? Two years ago? There's no tattoos on his face. Wow, okay, this is what Tom looks like with no tattoos on his face. Holy crap, and his hair is a little bit grown in. Okay, yeah, you can see it right here, the tattoo right here, a little bit. You see it more on the video right there, below it, you know, uh, below. Uh, this one, anxiety. Did he not get those tattoos yet, or maybe they're covered up? I don't think he had those tattoos yet. Wow, so he hasn't had, so if that's the case, he hasn't had those face tattoos for very long. Then if this video came out two years ago and just Anarchy Spoken Word, 669,000 views. Holy crap, Tom. Good job. And it's just him just standing there just speaking whatever the heck comes to his mind. And this one's called Anarchy Spoken Word. This is the first one. Holy crap, Tom. I already love what you're saying. Anyway. Chuck. Keep that silly uniform I had to wash and dry. I'm not a brick that's in your wall, but you're a thorn that's in my side. I was born and I comply with all the orders and defy all of the horrors I survived. I feel like normals of the skies. And I don't oh, want make a up. vacation or a half an hour lunch. Okay, or well, a cool to work a job you put makeup on. Love. My it was makeup. Full of gasoline. My motor's <laughs> made of stolen parts. I've tightened all the nuts and bolts, but I don't want to work on cars. The system's trying to smother me, but anarchy is in my heart. They slash my tires and cut my brakes. I'll crash now if it even starts. My boss don't even know that I make music he would care about. He thinks I'm just some stoner stacking boxes in a warehouse. I got dreams and goals and things I'm told are worth to keep aspiring. When music is my full-time job, then nobody can fire me. But right... Okay, wow. I'm going to rewind, but okay. So this spoken word anarchy is about him rebelling against the regular job. Because he's of when he was trying to strive from being a rapper and how maybe he was struggling. And he had to go get a regular 9-to-5 job. Like... You, who's listening to this video, um, and so forth. Me, um, I don't actually have, I'm actually autistic, I'm on disability. Maybe one day I'll be, get taken off of disability, you know, that's my dream, could I make it on YouTube? Um, 
maybe one day, but that's what he's saying. So, and I get the point of where he's took his clothes off and he changed outfits, showing his tattoos and stuff, and he's removing it because he's because that was then, and now he is who he is, and he's wiping out the makeup. That's what he's saying there. Holy crap! Okay, let's rewind it a little bit. Right now, it in hiring. My groceries expire. Hey, come on. There. Jake. Or a half an hour See? lunch. Or a cubicle to work off. a job that I don't even love. My veins are full of gasoline. My motor's made of stolen parts. I've tightened all the nuts and bolts, but I don't want to work on cars. The system's trying to smother me, but anarchy is in my heart. They slash my tires and cut my brakes. I'll crash now if it even starts. My boss don't even know that I make music he would care about. He thinks I'm just some stoner stacking boxes in a warehouse. I got dreams and goals and things I'm told wow. to keep aspiring. When music is my full-time job, then nobody can fire me. But right now it ain't hiring. My groceries expiring. My rent is due. My phone is off. The extra shits are tiring. I know I made... Okay, wow. Um, there's no food. There's no groceries. His phone's expiring, so his phone builds up. And, he, and he's not making money with his rap, so he had to go get a normal job. That's what he's speaking about. But he's saying he's gonna make he's gonna one day make it so he's can so when he came out with this video and maybe he was already making it um or starting to but so he quit his job where he's about to his regular nine to five job because he knows he's getting there that he's gonna make it on YouTube, he's gonna make it on Spotify, he's gonna make it on Pandora and make money and just be a full time rapper. That that's what he's saying. And he's gonna get there when well when he releases this video. And holy crap, Tom. Good job. Just good job. I love it, Tom. I love it. Keep aspiring. When music is my full-time job, then nobody can fire me. See, but right, right now it ain't hiring. My groceries expiring. My rent is due. My phone is off. The extra shits are tiring. I know I'm made for more than what my resume reflects. The government is trying to dumb me down with guns and boots and sex. I'm not a salesman. I couldn't sell beer in the prohibition. I've never been the type to make a living off commission. I'm no good at wearing suits or doing taxes for a business. I want to count some money, not the hours and the minutes. I'm not a carpenter, a lawyer, a doctor, I'm not a waiter, or a teacher, or a cop, or a plumber, I'm not a tradesman, or an architect, an engineer, a pilot, or a mailman, I'm something that don't fit into their perfect little game plan. I'm me. And they can try to kill my spirit with... Okay, wow, because he said no matter what he's going to do, and stuff, he can't do a regular job. He can't be an accountant, he can't do construction and everything, he, he just can't. He's going to be a rapper, and that's what he became, and he's making money off it. See, that's my dream, you see, I can't... Maybe one day when I make it, because I also do video game footage and I'm going to be talking about real life issues, but he's talking about that and it reminds me of me because maybe one day I'll be able to take myself off of disability and make it on YouTube. So I appreciate you guys watching. Anyway, let's get back into it. Yeah, it, He's kind of reminded me of what I'm thinking about myself. Even though I actually have a medical condition and why I can't really have a regular job. <laughs> um... Mental issues, uh, uh, disability, you know. He, he's reminded me of me. And I, thank you, Tom. Flat out. Thank you. I love it. Overtime when the barn burns. But if there's one thing I ain't scared of, it is long days and hard work. So they can pay themselves a dollar while I only make a cent. But I will stack up all my pennies till they're higher than the fence. Then I'll climb them like a ladder and jump to the other side. Spend the nickels that I made on a taxi or hitch a ride. But they never thought they'd see the day I left them to survive and use the system that they built to leave their system all behind. Holy crap. I love it. I love the message. Holy crap. Okay, we're, I'll be right back. I'm going to pause this. I'll be right back. And we're back. Yeah, I don't want to show ads in this video, or very little ads, so that's why I paused it. I also, firstly, why I paused it, went and grabbed some water. Um, wow. This next song, well, spoken word, is Anxiety. 850,000 views in two years. Tom, keep it up, man. In fact, I hope you do more spoken words because this stuff is just been, it's just as phenomenal as your music. Holy crap. Tom, keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. Anxiety is the next spoken word. I wake up feeling panic. My pills are in the cabinet. 
takes all the strength I have to just ignore them as I pass it. Man, I hope this feeling passes soon, but hell and back, it's barely noon. I'm scared to go outside. Shit, I'm surprised I even left my room. And it feels like no one understands how bad I'd love to join my friends. It's hard to breathe. I'm anxious, and I'll end up staying home instead. The doctor hasn't helped me much. He signs his name. I buy the drugs. I'm feeling weird. I take one out. It makes me feel comfortably numb. Okay, wow. He's talking about, once again, you know, I understand why Tom's done this more than once. Some people might say it's overkill about him just releasing a song more, and it's just another song about his addiction, or his spoken word. It's more about well his anxiety and his drug addiction. Um, and wow, Tom, I don't think it's too much. I you know keep it up, man, keep it up because like I said before in my other reaction videos, Tom, and you know it too, and your fans know it. Um, you're you're a true fan like me. You shouldn't be here. You should be dead. But it's a good thing you're not. So bless your life, Tom, and keep and keep pushing, man, and stay alive for as long as possible, Tom. Please just die of old age. You know, keep doing what we're doing. We don't want you to leave us early, Tom. We do not want you to leave early. Please don't do that. Keep it up. Keep your head up, like Tupac said. Keep your head up. It's not just about late. It's not just about the ladies, Tom. I'm also including that to you, Tom. Keep your head up. Keep pushing. Keep doing what you're doing. I love it. Anxiety. Spoken word. Tom McDonald. Wow. Just the message in just a short video. Less less than two minutes long. It's hard to breathe. I'm anxious and I'll end up staying home instead. The doctor hasn't helped me much. He signs his name. I buy the drugs. I'm feeling weird. I take one out. It makes me feel comfortably numb. And I can't handle my emotions like I used to. It's all different now. I start to sweat, I feel confused, my fingers shake, my heartbeat pounds. I'm feeling claustrophobic every time the closet closes because my skeletons are in there, so I have to leave it open. I'm just nervous over nothing, even shit I can't control. I used to love to be in public, now I'd rather be alone. And even though it's difficult, it's probably for the best. Wow. He didn't like being in public, he just would much better feel like he should just be, he just wants to be left alone. Tom, I totally get that at times. I really do. And you know, you probably feel it more than more than other people at times. But you know what, Tom? Keep doing what you're doing and keep your head up. Seriously. That that right there was anxiety spoken word. That part right there was so powerful, man. So powerful. I love it. Tom. Tiamo, we love you. Thank you. And you know what, Tom? Keep doing what you're doing, and Vios can Dios. Go, may God be with you, seriously, and peace be with you, Tom. Vios can Dios. That's what I gotta say about this. That's all. If I didn't make a change, I would have drank myself to death. And I wake up feeling better than I did the day before. Then it hits me out of nowhere and almost knocks me to the floor. A heaviness, a readiness to get back into bed, a sadness that I can't explain, a cloud over my head. My deepest, darkest fears feel like they're filling up an ocean and I'm floating on the surface with no hope to keep me going. I've been down on myself and I forgot how to believe in me. I never asked for help, not to struggle with it secretly. I wish that it was something I could sweep under the carpet trying to hide it all the time only makes the battle harder. Man, I lived a lot of moments that I probably should have cherished. Now they seem so far away from me, I'm angry and embarrassed. I can't even tell my parents they don't need to keep on worrying. My mama and my papa don't deserve to have to bury me. I hope the pills I have will hold me over for a while. I'll keep searching for the strength to find my smile. Holy Each of us. Holy crap. Okay. Um, I'm going to say this. I'm going to pause for this stupid ad. Um, <laughs> annoying, but I understand because, you know, Tom's going to make money. Um, I will be back, but wow, Tom. That was just mind-blowing. Beautiful, it, even short for such a short video. That was just so powerful. I mean, it just goes to prove that just because it's a message, you know, and, and it doesn't have to be five, ten, seventeen minutes long, for the point of the message to get across. And Tom just just proved it. Anyway, I'm gonna pause it and I'll be right back with the next spoken word of Tom McDonald. And I'm back. Uh, Tom McDonald, not alone, spoken word. Two years ago, 469 views. Holy crap. Wow.
you know, I mean, of course, these spoken words, you know what, these Tom's spoken words, they're underrated. So, you know what, people, tell your friends about them. Let's get those views increased. Come on, man. I mean, really, his music is hitting a million views in less than a week, about a week, you know. So why shouldn't Tom McDonald's Not Alone Spoken Words get reviews as well? Tell your friends about it. Stuff. Check out his unknown stuff, his lesser known stuff, like his spoken words. I mean, this is what I actually like about artists. You know, when people think of like ACDC and stuff, they, li they listen to all the, they list, they list all the burned out songs. It's like ACDC, you know, TNT, She's Got the Jack, uh, Hell's Bells. No, you don't know ACDC. If you don't mention a whole lot of Rosie, then you don't know ACDC. The same thing. If you don't mention Tom's spoken words, then you don't know Tom McDonald. The same thing. People people listen to this stuff as well. Keep it up, Tom. Keep it up. That's all I got to say. Check out every single one of his spoken words and watch it and tell your friends about it. Let's increase the, the views on these and, and the likes of these and stuff. I've already increased the views on it myself. I told another person and I've liked every single and hit the like button on you, on his YouTube channel of every single one of his spoken words. Let's get, let's get the like button, thumbs up on that stuff higher. Let's do this for Tom. Anyway, let's get into it. Next one is Not Alone, Spoken Word, Tom McDonald. I'm walking out the darkness and I barely made it. Hope this reaches all the people who cannot escape it. I was just like you. I was young like you. I was trying to numb the pain I was afraid of facing. I was trying to run away from the hurt. I didn't know what I would do if living felt any worse. I tried the pills and the therapy and none of it worked. I know it kills, but I want you to... Wow, nothing else worked. Holy crap. And because of that, he, well, the reason why he's making this one, spoken word, that he feels alone even though he's not alone. That's what I'm getting out of this. That's what I'm getting out of it. I was trying to numb the pain I was afraid of facing. I was trying to run away from the hurt. I didn't know what I would do if living felt any worse. I tried the pills and the therapy and none of it worked. I know it kills, but I want you to know that you ain't the first. Your people can't relate if they ain't felt it themselves. It feels like everything they say when you complain doesn't help. You're sinking deeper every day when you're awake, you're in hell. You think you changed along the way, but now it's too late to tell. It's like you were rolling with the thunder and bell. Because when the lightning started crashing, I guess you did as well. Your demons kicking down the door, they're never ringing the bell. They just keep tapping on the windows till they follow the sails. I know you're feeling defeated, you try to keep it a secret, your weakness got you believing, you need a doctor for treatment, but taking pills and convenience, and you keep looking for reasons to go and flush them down the drain and find the faith to keep breathing, you lay and look at the ceiling on light when you should be sleeping, but you've been needing even pieces of dreams and failed achievements. Holy crap! Man, it just got intense there, it's just, damn, just perfect timing for the intensity increase, Tom. Holy crap, let's just rewind that a little bit. Holy crap, let's listen to that part again. Convenience and you keep looking for reasons to go and flush them down the drain and find the faith to keep breathing. You lay and look at the ceiling on light when you should be sleeping, but you've been needing even pieces of dreams and failed achievements. You keep Oh my god, so beautiful. You were beaten and broken and now you're bleeding in motion. You just want someone to hold you. Well, me too. Because I've been standing on the edge trying not to jump. I only say it so you know you aren't the only one. The only thing that killed the pain was smoking weed and getting drunk. Before I knew it, I had drank a case a day for 18 months. I was sleeping with a beer by my bed. Last call was all that I could hear in my head. I know there's too many of us drinking to try and forget, but who the fuck are we going to cheers if we drink till we're dead? And when you finally get sober, you find the friendships are over because you don't have nothing in common. If you're not getting loaded, you call them brothers, you call them family, you call them your blessings, and now they call and you ignore the phone, and that's called depression. They try to tell you your misery is not an excuse, and you just wish they could spend a day trying to walk in your shoes. Just know you're not alone. I feel the same way as you. It isn't you against the world because I'm fighting them too. It's like you're losing control. Holy crap. Even more mass respect for Tom. Thank you, Tom. You, did, you just referenced Tupac right there, man. I love it. I love it. Me Against the World. That is a phenomenal song by Tupac. If you guys don't know it and you say you guys know rap, you don't know rap. Go check out Tupac, Me Against the World. Holy shit. Because it's just me against the world. Motherfucking Tupac right there. Even more mass respect, Tom. My respect for you and your music just keeps growing and growing. My respect for you as an artist just keeps growing and growing, Tom. Keep it up, man. I love it. I love it, Tom. You are... Like I said, Tom, you may actually one day surpass Tupac. I mean, I know that's a big may. But I'm starting to maybe see a little bit of a reality of that statement, okay? I 
denied it for a while. But it's just a slight little light that you might actually do that. So just, Tom, just keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep doing what you're doing. I love it. Until you drive right off the road and then when the vehicle rolls again, you get thrown off the hose and then you notice your bones are broken and all of your clothes are wet. Soaking with gasoline, let it smoke and explode with it. To the day that we're ghosts, you'll never be on your own. Because I'll be standing in your corner until you need me the most. I was put on this planet to lift you up when you're low. And you have done the same for me, so I'll be keeping you close. I love y'all. I love you too, Tom. We love you. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay, I'm going to pause this. I do not want to hear about coronavirus. I don't want to put ads in this. So I'm going to pause it. I'll be right back. I'm kind of sick. Of, but you know what, Tom? You need to make money. It's perfectly understandable. But for my video, I'm going to pause it. I'll be right back, people. And we're back. This is Tom McDonald's. His next spoken word. War is coming. 289,000 views. Yeah, 289,000 views. Two years ago. Like I said before, Tom, your stuff, your other stuff is in the millions. People, we need to increase this. Go watch his videos. Go tell your friends about his stuff. Let's increase some views on this. Let's do it for Tom. War is coming. War is coming. You can hear it in the distance. It sounds like all the screams of a million men and women. You can smell it in the air and see it on your television. And the government don't care. They see the money, not the missives. War is coming. And there's nowhere you can hide. We get a 30-minute warning before the bomb reaches our side. You can run for somewhere safer, but you'll just run out of time because there's nothing you can do except prepare yourself to die. War is coming. Can you feel it? Has your fear become a secret? Who are you more scared of, Donald Trump or North Korea? Are you worried when you're reading all wow. the headlines in the evening? Even atheists will pray that they survive and start believing war. Okay, thank you. That just proves my point again. You know, look, even atheists are scared of the dark. Even atheists are scared of the dark. Okay, wow, I'm back. Uh, I had to go. Mother Nature for the dogs. Anyway, wow, the... the just this war is coming spoken word, Tom McDonald. It's just, it just goes to show how talented Tom is, okay? In fact, I'm going to rewind it a little bit because holy crap, it's just listen to the words, listen to Tom McDonald's spoken words, okay? All right, like I said before, I hope you guys are enjoying the video, people. So let's get back into it. War is coming. Born. Really? Okay. Become a secret? Who are you more scared of, Donald Trump or North Korea? Are you worried when you're reading all the headlines in the evening? Even atheists will pray that they survive and start believing war is coming. Very Born true statement. Money, worn and ugly like it's always been. The bullets just got faster and the bombs are made from hydrogen. America the brave will have to earn her stars and stripes again. She wrote the books on history, but someone else might write her end. War is coming. War is coming. War has come to get the West. It was beating down our door while we were beating on our chests. It was making better weapons while we laughed at making threats. And now it's come to get its vengeance and we've just become oppressed. War is coming. Wow. Tom, I love it. It just, it just goes to show how talented Tom is. Wow. Holy crap. Okay, hold on, wait. That's not the video I wanted. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, wow. So I double checked everything. I looks like I so I did the anarchy, anxiety spoken word, not alone, and war is coming. Wow. So I guess I got all the Tom McDonald spoken words done. You guys go check out these videos. Seriously, they're short, but seriously, they're what he has to say in each one of these videos is just phenomenal. His official spoken words playlist, the anxiety spoken word. I mean, yeah, anarchy, anxiety, not alone, war is coming, all spoken words, and holy crap. It's just, wow. Go check out these videos. Um, so, people, thank you for watching this with Triple Legit Gaming here on these videos. And holy crap, Tom, this, this just phenomenal, okay? Phenomenal people. Thank you for watching, Tom. Keep doing it. 
And also, Tom, if you could, if you could do some more spoken words, because the power of these short videos are just, they're short, but they're so powerful. It just goes to show that Tom's extremely talented. And you know what? He's extremely freaking intelligent. I mean, just the discernment, the people who can understand a deep understanding behind these spoken words, spoken word um, that Tom McDonald has done. Um, it's just phenomenal. And like I said, these videos are underrated. All of his other media, like his music videos and stuff have millions of views in less than a year, in less than two years and stuff. And this, like, like only 669,000. Come on, people, let's increase the likes of these like the likes of these videos people for, for tom and let's increase the views so tell your friends about tom mcdonald's spoken word so they can view it too seriously tom keep it up man we love you this is triple g gamer here thank you for watching this reaction video it was a little funny um but like i said thank you for watching smack that like button subscribe feel free to share my videos i also do video gameplay walkthroughs yeah share my videos on your web on by web link on your social media pages tell your friends about me thank you for watching Smack that like button if you want to, and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching with my Tom McDonald's spoken word reaction video. I included them all in one. Wow, Tom, just keep it up, Tom. Just keep it up. We love you. Nova too. Keep it up, Nova. Nova, watch over Tom. Be as rock, because you are. Keep it up, you guys. I love you guys. And, you know, maybe one day Tom's going to discover my channel, because he just, he, Tom is the shit. Tom is just, he, d Tom is now the definition of rap. I mean, you open up, the you open the dictionary, you see rap, you know the definition of rap. It's going to be a picture of Tupac, Biggie, Ice Cube, NWA, Eazy -E, freaking Dax, Adam Calhoun, and fucking Tom McDonald, okay? I mean, Tom McDonald's going to be placed after freaking, uh, Tupac, Biggie, then Tom. Okay? And in that order. Okay, seriously. That's the definition of rap right there, people. Tom, keep it up. That's the definition of an artist. Tom, you are extremely talented. Keep it up, man. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.